Hi guys, welcome back to Caribbean J03 and welcome back to my kitchen. Okay guys, my sister will be in the kitchen today. She's doing coleslaw using the Brussels sprouts that she had gotten, a whole box. That's another story. <laughs> and she's using the water bath method to preserve the coleslaw. She's canning, canning the coleslaw and using the water bath method. The last time she did the beans, she used the pressure canning. So, chair, the kitchen is all yours, and I can't wait to see and taste <laughs> the coleslaw. So, guys, my sister is in the kitchen today. Chair, it's all yours. Hello, y'all. Um, I am shredding Brussels sprouts and as you can see I already have two sets of Brussels sprouts that I've already shredded and I'm shredding the last of it now I'm using these Brussels sprouts um, to make um, coleslaw that I'm going to water bath can so here goes you might want to pause that because it's gonna be pretty loud All right, y'all, I'm just gonna check to see if I'm full and I think I am full. Mm -hmm. I think I'm full. So, and I have a little bit more left to put in, just that. So I'm gonna put that in as one little set. So let's just get this into my container. I'm scraping down my cover here. Because some always gets up there in the cover. And I always try to scrape these this down because when you put it back in there, it will get stuck. Like it will be hard to pull this up to add more. So as you can see, I try not to. I use the middle core instead. So this is what the Brussels sprouts look like once you shred them. So you can see literally what it looks like. So I just wanted to make it nice enough and small enough so that it can fit on your fork. And the food processor, God bless the person who invented it. <laughs> I love this thing. There's some people who are in love with their blenders. I'm in love with the food processor. I'm, I'm in love with my um, Instapot. <laughs> Each person will have their specific <laughs> appliance tied to their hips. Okay, let's Let finish some this. some nice little slices in here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So we shall finish the last of our Brussels. Y'all can see me. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my lord, such a drama queen. Oh my goodness, I was just wandering around in the dark earlier. <laughs> Ignore her, guys. Okay, let's get the last of my Brussels sprouts in here. And then I think I have a try. Dear, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my bustles. Oh, good heavens. All right. For the ears. Here goes. And that's it for and Brussels that's sprouts. the end of the Brussels sprouts now, y'all. So, as you can see here, all of my Brussels sprouts are done. My container is empty. Da, 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 da. And it now is gonna be fixed. And the sole reason I'm actually doing this is because I was given a box of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Watch it, you. 
Thank and you, my yes. mother absolutely <laughs> loves Brussels sprouts, but I didn't know that there was a limit to how much she loves Brussels sprouts. <laughs> So word to the wise, my friends out there, if anybody ever give you a box of Brussels sprouts, say no. <laughs> don't, don't worry, not even how much your mother likes it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, guys, she volunteered. She just said, oh, yes. yes. And I called my mother and she said a whole box. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> so this is what we have to do so now. So this is now how I will be preserving the rest of the Brussels sprouts and we all love coleslaw so why not? And you know how I love canning so hey why not? Okay y'all um I am going to do my canning salt salting the uh Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna put um, about two tablespoons of canning salt into each one of these bowls and then I will toss this and let it sit for about because these are shredded small and fine I'm gonna let them sit for about two hours or so my one tablespoon. My bag had a hole on it, so some of my salt has gotten a little hard. Ooh. There we go. A little hard. Okay. And please make sure that you use canning salt or kosher salt because you don't want to use iodide salt, any salt that has iodine in it or other minerals um, because it may have an interaction for you. So you probably don't want to do that. So this is all you're going to do. And this is enough salt to draw out the liquid from this amount of finely shredded Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to toss this. And then again, I'll come back again and toss it around again, just to make sure that as the liquid is coming out, it's going to be salted, continue to be salted properly. And trust me when I say I will get my hand in there. This is just the initial salting. Oops. Get back over here. This is just the initial salting to get the process started. And then I will get my hand in there as this starts to go down. Because it will draw the liquid out so it will reduce in size. Or amount actually. Not amount. But the amount will still the same but the size because it will take out the liquid out of the Brussels sprouts. Just tossing it so that I can get as much of the Brussels sprouts covered with salt initially. And I'll come back again um, in about an hour and toss it again. This time I'll toss it with my hand when I do it in an hour because then I can squeeze the um, liquid out of the Brussels sprouts as I am tossing it. All right, we'll let this sit covered for a few minutes, for about an hour, and I will time it and come back and um, toss it again with my hand and squeeze as much liquid out as I possibly can. I have to do the rest of these that are left um, and I'll do those and let them sit as well. But for right now, this is the first one that I did to show you how it's supposed to be done. And then um, I'll come back in an hour and salt the rest. Well, yeah. I'll salt the rest now and come back in an hour to re-toss this one. Okay. All right, y'all. So my one hour is up and I am going to do this one so that I can toss this so you can see how much water Whoa. is in there as you can see how much i can i don't know if you can see how much water but let me help you out with that a little bit whoa as you can Look at see the water in the bottom yeah so i'm gonna keep squeezing it out and i'm gonna try to let you see how much 
and you can see it this way how much water is draining from there uh -uh. so as you can see it's draining out enough it's soaking in enough of the salt so i'm gonna just keep squeezing it you gonna put it aside or mm -mm. i'm gonna mix it back in because uh -uh. we're trying to get the salt to come out but you just need to squeeze out a little bit because when you squeeze it more fluid will come out because it goes back it tries to get more salt in there so now i'm going to mix it back in again all right so we're going to let this sit for the last of the two hour episode and uh, bay leaf, um, sugar, vinegar, and garlic. I'm not putting any spices in it because, um, my mother will want cayenne pepper, God bless her soul. So, and that's the only spice we put in when she actually eats this stuff. She so put it in a dressing. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time for us to do our mixing. As you can see in here, I have uh, the Brussels sprouts that have been washed and completely rinsed and rinsed and rinsed some more and I have um, the carrots and some red onions and white onions because that's how we like our coleslaw so I'm gonna mix, mix this all together and yes my hands are clean um, I'll try to get this all mixed properly And this is one of two batches that we're actually going to be doing. Um, putting these in the regular amount jars because everything in here is so small. It's so small. It's going to be really easy to come out of the jars. Um, and when you make your coleslaw, you can make whatever. You can use whatever you want to. Um, some people like to put bell peppers in theirs. Uh, I don't like putting bell peppers in mine to tell you the honest truth so these are the three things that we usually put in there is the cabbage the carrots onions and we do put a bit of garlic in there um, and we also but the garlic is in the um, in the brine that we're gonna be putting into these jars and since this is a water bath canning process I already put the vinegar and I have eight cups of vinegar in there with seven cups of um, water and um, a little bit of sugar regular white sugar granulated sugar and I didn't put any salt because remember we had soaked the um, the Brussels sprouts with the canning salt and then I put the bay leaf and the garlic in there so I think that's about mixed well I hope I'm getting trying to get down to the bottom and I will be leaving all the ingredients and the measurements, guys, in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Well, give us a thumbs up. She's just being gravelicious. I don't know why she's correcting now. <laughs> Can't help it, guys. <laughs> all right. Think that looks good? Looks good to me. Right? All right. And of course, once this is done burning, we will, I mean, um, pressure, really, water bath canning. I'm used to doing pressure canning. So this is going to be water bath canning. I'm going to fill my jars and I'm going to turn this thing off because it's going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I am going to, I'm not going to go wash my hands because I'm using my hands to fill my jars, but. I'm gonna pause you for a second because I have to go get hot water to fill my, make my jars get wet at this point. I'm not wet, really? <laughs> you to get my roll. jars warm. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I want my cold slaw. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my jar is hot, which is why I'm holding it with my pot holder here, and I'm going to fill them all the way up. 
because this will go down once you do the debubbling yeah all right and then once it goes down like that as you can see so I'm gonna fill it up to the um, a half inch with my Woo! very hot brine And in, like I said before, in this brine, we have the bay leaf, garlic, sugar, vinegar. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't do that because then that will make my lid, my, the mouth of my jars get really. And it goes to half inch headspace there. That's an inch. I'm going to give it a half inch head space. It's inside there. Alright y'all, my other jar is very hot. That should be pretty close to a half inch head space. Okay. So I'm going to debubble. I am going to debubble here. And then I need to get my vinegar wipe. All right, so as you all know, when you're canning, you need to make sure that you get all of that stuff off and make sure you have clean lips for your lids because when your lids go on, you want to make sure that that's nice and clean so that it has a good seal um, when you're canning. So this is just a clean paper towel with uh dipped in vinegar and i've been soaking my lids and my uh rings in hot water so and as always this lid has to be fingertip tight okay so don't use any accoutrement to tighten it so fingertip tight that's yeah, it that's just so fingertip tight and it will go into my water bath canning um and it's gonna go into the water bath and let it go for 15 minutes and then turn it off let it sit in the canner uh, for at least five minutes more and then you take it out and cool it off in a towel If that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. You should. All right. All right, y'all. I think that looks pretty good. So let me fill this one up. Okay. I'm going to debubble this again. You want to get all the debubbling. Do your debubbling. As you can see, look at how much is coming up. You want to debubble, always debubble if you're using solids, if you're doing solids. And I didn't bring my debubbler again. So I'm just using a regular plastic knife here just to make sure I can get down to the bottom of these jars. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm not going to fill much more than that. You can go up to a half inch of um, just a little bit. up to a half inch so we're good and i'm gonna wipe that off and again this is just vinegar to wipe off the lip of the jar to ensure proper sealing And please be careful. Again, these lids of these jars are very hot. And for those of you who are watching this, you might think that I have a lot of carrots in this. That's because we love a lot of carrots in our coleslaw. Some people don't like carrots, but it's your coleslaw. You do you. Maybe I won't do too much. There's a 
think that's about good. Yep, I think that is full. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna put this down for a second so I can level it off. Okay. And I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. I also wanna get some of them garlic bits in here. Mother would love Oh that. Lord, are you kidding me? Right there. Mm-hmm. Right, let's de-bubble. See how much bubbles come up? Mm-hmm. See that? This will need more water. Brine. Okay. Definitely need more brine. Okay, I think I'm up my half inch of space. I'm gonna need the white lid, the top actually. And so Cherry, if you wanted to make this <laughs> if you want this to make it spicy. Oh yes. If you wanna make this spicy, you can actually just add some um hot pepper, either like um uh, banana peppers, cayenne pepper, um, jalapeno, whichever your spice you like, you can add your spice in when you're packing your jars. Um, if you're my mother, if you're my mother, she's going to use cayenne pepper. <laughs> but I'm not adding the cayenne pepper in here now because again, I'm gonna water bath can this and she can put the um, spice in when she does the dressing. So, and then when you're ready to use this, you can choose to either um, empty, well, you wanna pour out some of that liquid clear, clearly, pour out the liquid, like drain the liquid and use some of that same brining liquid mm -hmm. to make your dressing. Don't use all of it. Well, you can if you want to, but you can use some of that same brining liquid to make your uh, dressing and you, or you can use your favorite coleslaw dressing and manja okay so i can put these in because that has calmed down now so okay. i can go put these in all right wow oh, hot people mighty oh hot God, they're so nice look at the colors mm -hmm. all right i just dropped the lid the thing in there the lid look at These jars are very hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go get the others. Well, I will fill up the others and then we'll do that. All right, so we will continue to fill the jars. And you're probably wondering why my carrots are cut so big. That's because I didn't give proper instructions to my prep. <laughs> my sushi. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so weird. laughs> you just felt the need to plug that in there, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Try to get as much of this in there as I possibly can. I can see on the end here that I can still add some more, but I'll behave myself. I shall behave myself. Let me just go and fill this with our brining liquid. I will need to make more brining liquid clearly. Mm -hmm. And again, I didn't put enough in here to fill that one canner. Thank you. 
the bubble. That's why you did bubble. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, if you just came across my channel, I have a video where my sister did um, pressure canning and I will be linking that on this. This one is the water bath, right? Yes, this is water bath canning. Mm -hmm. So I will be linking the pressure canning. Yes, because we had pressure canned beans. Mm -hmm. So I'll be linking, leave that link in the description below so you guys can go and take a look at that clearly guys between baking and canning that's my sister's good deed for my videos right <laughs> and i'm taking advantage <laughs> i don't feel used or anything <laughs> nah <laughs> all right so there we are and we continue mm -hmm. and again for those of you who are just tuning in this is actually brussels sprouts not um cabbage well <laughs> not big cabbage then little cabbage <laughs> and that's because someone gave me a box of brussels sprouts <laughs> and like i warned you before if anyone ever gives you a box of Brussels sprouts, say no. Even if your mother enjoys Brussels sprouts, say no. Guys, cleaning Brussels sprouts. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think we'll be cleaning Brussels sprouts anytime soon. No, nope. I'm sure I will enjoy this coleslaw, but mm -mm. no. Nope. <laughs> Well, you have to give mom props because she did her some cleaning. Oh, she did some serious cleaning. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was like, yep. You're going to make my cold slot and you're going to bottle it too. <laughs> I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean and you do your part. part. <laughs> and she did. So, yes, mom, you already did your share. <laughs> you have earned your keep. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> all right. I just like to pack it in there to make sure that it's all good. Oh, Lord. There we go. There's one. Ha! make a wonderful vinaigrette dressing oh yes you know what i have it sometimes with mm -hmm. the zesty italian dressing yes yes oh my lord have that on your coleslaw guys mm. yes and just make yourself a nice vinaigrette because um my vinaigrette is just basic basic very basic okay always want to make sure you de-bubble de-bubbling and again, half inch head space. All right. One down in the middle. And I think I can put a little bit more, just a little bit more brine in here. Because mm -hmm. I don't think I'm quite at my half inch. I'm at the one inch head space. 
Oops. So let me just get a little bit more brine. Just to top it off to the half inch head space. Mm -hmm. Wipe off my mouth. Ensure my jars or my lids are going to be nice and secure. For you. you have a lot of shut up. Put that light from behind me. Let me see some picture. Please. <laughs> you must be out your mind. You guys can see how she's looking. <laughs> okay, I think I could put a bit more, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want that spread on in right there. Get over here. Now I feel like I'm on Broadway. It's like, why well, it's looking so dark? I keep having some shutters behind you there. Yep, that's much better. It is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the shucks. The brand that you put measuring there is perfect. Measured for nine jars. Nine. No, I didn't. I measured for seven jars. <laughs> oh. I'm going to restart for the next mm -hmm. set, anyways, which will be perfect because the bay leaf in here has done its job. Garlic has done its job. Ooh, I want that one garlic. I had to do that. Sorry. Alrighty then. That's a little too full. full. <laughs> yeah, that's what this one is for. That's because I had to get that one little piece of garlic in there. Mm. Now look what the one little piece of garlic <laughs> did to me. <laughs> Don't ever let yourself be suckered by a piece of garlic. <laughs> I 
All right. Oh, I my jars. Clean it. Oh, I didn't wipe it. I didn't wipe it. All right, y'all. I need to wipe this. See, sometimes it's good to have a sous chef. <laughs> I need to go and get with a sous chef. You sure don't have enough water in there. No, you need to put a little bit in there. I think so too. Aha, there I go with the garlic again now. <laughs> didn't he get to, I was just about to say, didn't he get in trouble already for it? Thank you. Six. <laughs> be set for. I'll set the timer for this for 15 minutes. Once it comes up to a boil, um, it will be set to 15 minutes. Okay. Because I have my, as you can see in there, all my jars are in there. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn off the stove. Because we are already at our 15 minutes. Whoa. Excuse me. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. Uh huh. Whoa. It did sink down. Very uh -huh. nice. This from up there. It's bubbling. Oh my lord, those look so good. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at how really nice that is. Yeah. And it's still <laughs> bubbling. How mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. hot. Oh, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. Just perfect. Absolutely. Oh, my mother. <laughs> she gonna be in heaven. Oh yeah, she will be in hog heaven. Is more like it. <laughs> yes, Lord. Look, it's still bubbling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ow, ow, ow. 
going to look. I was so curious to see how this was going to look. Oh, this is when it didn't fall completely? Yes, because I wanted to see what it would look like. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Exactly. Not bad. Mm, mm, mm. It's still bubbling. Yeah. Look, look the bubbles. <laughs> Well, it definitely cooked the cabbage. I mean, the um, onions. Look how the onions fading. Exactly, yeah. Which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So let them cool down. Yeah. And then, oh, I can't wait to taste those carrots. Oh, girl. All right. We shall see. Ow. What it looks like when they're done. Mm hmm. When they are, when I can open one of them. Oh, yeah. see, they're separating down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like. Me too. I'm just going to make sure I see what's happening in my pot. There's nothing in there. Everything is all good. Yep. I just want to make sure that nothing came out. Nah, nothing came out. Okay. We're good.